hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm so glad to have you back and today we are going to prepare chicken so this is my chicken cut into small pieces and washed well ready to boil i'll boil it first then we can fry the other ingredients that i'll be using today are red onion two of them some carrots cut in cubes green pepper cut also into pieces i have uh, uh, coriander stems yeah coriander stems i'll show you how i fry with the stems also i have uh, blended tomatoes i have fresh coriander fresh coriander then uh, the spices that i'll be using are curry powder uh, two royco cubes mixed spices black pepper yes so let's start guys we will start with boiling the chicken i'll add some water just a little bit so that they can uh, boil well some salt also i like when i add some salt uh, when boiling my chicken so that i won't add any more then i will mix it In the same soup area, I will add the onions. Yes. Since the chicken that I'll be frying is a broiler chicken, not kienyeji, I'll put some little oil, very little. This is just for frying the onions. But the chicken itself is very oily. I'll fry the onion for two minutes. When I'm cooking uh, chicken, I usually love to cook with uh, lots of lots of uh, onions. So the next thing that I will add is uh, the coriander stem. Uh, the reason why I separated the stem is uh, from the leaf. Is because the stems are uh, when fried with onion they bring that flavor they have a lot of flavor so that is why i am using the stems separately so i'll add my stems fry for one minute for one minute then i will add a herb that is called methi let me show you the herb this is the herb this one you see it's called methi it's usually sold in the grocery shop just next to the coriander you will find this methi we also fry methi with the onion after you put the coriander stem to put the methi. This is what I have, I have just cut them in small pieces. So I'll add the methi. The methi has, uh, it has uh, that royco flavor. You see the, 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 the flavor that comes from royco cubes. That's what it has. It, it has, it has that, uh, I don't know the, the English name for that herb. So that one I'll add it, this is not bad. One minute. Then I add my uh, garlic and ginger. I'll mix them together. This 
the, 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 the flavor hmm, that is coming out from this uh, combination is very, very good. I wish you could smell the flavor. Very, very good. Then after that, I will add my carrots. Yes, my carrots. I love my carrots not uh, overcooked. I love them when I chew, I, I feel the crunchiness. So in this process, I will speed it up. I don't want them at the end to be uh, soggy and overcooked. So I will add the chicken. I will add the chicken. Yes. Since I have uh, boiled the chicken, it won't take long for me to, to prepare. Mix it well. I let it uh, cook for two minutes. Then I will add the blended tomatoes. So now I will add the blended tomatoes. This is the blended tomatoes. We'll add the green paper. let it cook for three minutes then we come back and see how it is going so our chicken is boiling I'm sorry I didn't uh, show you while I was putting the chicken stock that I had separated with the meat with the chicken but it is there inside then what I will do now I add the spices remember we've not added any spice here I will start with the rainbow cubes The spices are to, to just add the flavor. Yes. Two of them have added two rainbow right cubes. I'll, I'll add two tablespoons of uh, mixed spices. One. Ah, this is teaspoon. Sorry, teaspoon. Two teaspoons of uh, mixed spices. Two teaspoon. Then I will add uh, black pepper. Little bit of it. I also consider the children that don't take the black pepper. I add curry powder. Yes. Then mix well first. Then my secret ingredient that I usually like to add on my chicken is coconut cream. Yes, that's what I add on mine. You can also add uh, cooking cream. But me, I love the coconut. So we let it boil for like uh, 
three minutes then we will add our coriander remember the coriander is just to garnish the stew so that's what we'll be adding and then we remove our chicken stew from the fire I know that you're asking why I've not added the salt on the stew. I had added salt while boiling the chicken, remember? So it's still enough. Uh, you don't need to add more. So let's uh, let it boil for three minutes and then we will be back again. Uh, our stew is ready now. Very, very ready. So I will add... Uh, the coriander yes it's a little and our stew is ready so guys uh, thank you so much for keeping it real for those who have subscribed thank you so much for uh, the support thank you so much for the views there. So guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, uh, share with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. See you in the next video. Bye!